And this morning we're joined by Stockton City Council member Kimberly Wormsley. Thank you so much for joining us. Good morning and thank you for having me. Now, before we start, we're going to show some of the crime stats in Stockton. This is comparing year to date stats from August of 2021 to 2022. Violent crime up almost every major category, including, amongst other things, forcible rape, robbery, assault, and again, homicide. So I have to ask you, as someone raised in Stockton, do you feel safe in your own city? Um, you know, I know that the, the crime numbers have uh, increased, unfortunately. However, I, I refuse to accept that Stockton cannot be a safe city. I know that, um, you know, similar to other cities through across America, people are dealing with the post endemic, um, you know, concerns with crime going up. Uh, this is a growing concern. However, we will still continue to remain resilient um, in our community and proactive in making sure that our city turns the curb and becomes uh, a more safer city for all. Now, again, we were just leading into everything saying that, you know, despite the serial killer being taken off the streets, allegedly, of course, they have a suspect right now, but realistically, how quickly can the city address the issues out there for crime, whether it's uh, budgetary or otherwise? You know, that's a really good question. Um, first and foremost, I think that we have to look at the pathway um, leading to this arrest. It was the community that came together in solidarity um, in order to assist law enforcement in apprehending the suspect. We had more than hundreds of, hundreds of uh, tips per day that came in through various uh, tip strategies from social media to people calling in to people, um, you know, sending footage. And so that really exemplifies how when a city comes together in solidarity, we can work together um, to prevent and intervene in situations such as, you know, the, these series of homicides and or serial killers. Um, places lead to, to faces. And again, it was the community coming together to solve this. So this is a great example of how Stockton can move itself forward um, in preventing and intervening um, with crime and, um, you know, homicides and, and dangerous situations. But again, what, what are some of the other examples? What would you like to see maybe the city or what are, we, what are you asking of citizens right now to do to, again, help with this moment right now, help bring and maybe even curb some of the, uh, the amount of crime that's being taken place? So what, um, as city leaders, what, the first thing that we are asking is we're asking the community to get involved. We're asking for community members to establish neighborhood watches. We are asking for the community to continue to report suspicious activities, um, that they may see in their community. We are also asking for our law enforcement officers, which they've done an excellent job already, uh, to become more engaged in the communities by making themselves present. Uh, the community needs to know who our law enforcement officers are, and our law enforcement officers need to know who our community members are. As elected officials, it's also our direct responsibility to take the time and, you know, make calls to our residents, show up at um, various churches, making sure the information pertaining to safety and public health is disseminated in other languages other than um, English. So again, it's about being present in real time and being active in our community and engaged and ensuring to our community that we are providing transparent information. Councilmember Wormsley, thank you so much for your time this morning. We really appreciate it. Thank you so much. Have a great one, everybody.